Hey guys, Dr. Chad. I'm here today for our latest installment of uh, supplements, organic options uh, for migraine. Uh, today we're going to look at riboflavin, also known as vitamin uh, B2. Um, when we talk about riboflavin, I'm going to mention several times coenzyme Q10, uh, one of the videos we did earlier. And the reason why is these two vitamin supplements um, intertwine. They both work on mitochondrial dysfunction. Um, so when you look at migraines, there's good um, imaging studies, animal models, human models, to show that with mitochondrial dysfunction, it leads to um, high levels of oxygen stress and uh, free radical production, which is very much intertwined with migraines. So by supplementing with riboflavin and uh, coenzyme Q10, uh, they speculate uh, through research as well that it stabilizes mitochondria and leads to less migraines. When you look at riboflavin specifically, um, a dose of about 400 milligrams a day seems to be the universal dose that these studies looked at. Uh, I was able to review six articles. Uh, one of these articles was a meta-analysis uh, looking uh, at a literature search from 1966 to 2016. So they reviewed hundreds of articles. All of these articles showed good ev evidence showing reduced frequency of headaches but it didn't really show a change in the duration of headaches or the symptoms associated with headaches. So the nausea, the vomiting, the diarrhea, things like that. Universally, all of the literature states low costs, low side effects. So they look at riboflavin as house money. There was one interesting study that looked at riboflavin against Depakote, which is a very common drug used for migraine, and it was found to be equally as effective, uh, but without the side effects, obviously. Uh, the American Academy of the Neurology, which is the high-level governing body for all neurologists, uh, gives riboflavin a category B as a preventative, category A being the highest. Um, so again, they're seeing what I saw looking at the literature, uh, that this is a very effective vitamin supplement for migraine prevention. I want to make sure that my viewers watching this as well as my patients understand this is not a take a pill, make the headache go away type of supplement. All the studies show that the efficacy was seen after three to six months. So you need to take this at a 400 milligram a day dose um, for several months before you're gonna see the effects. Uh, so again, um, I have a high level of recommendation of uh, riboflavin around 400 milligrams a day. I don't see any side effects. I don't see any negative to taking this. Uh, so if you suffer from migraines, I think you um, need to talk with your doctor, um, or if I'm your doctor, talk with me about it uh, to consider this option um, as a treatment for your headaches. As always, uh, please share your stories with me on social media if you've had experience with riboflavin or other supplements for your headaches, and uh, we'll continue to write this uh, Bible together and uh, hopefully learn from each other. Take care, guys. See you soon.